Ah, Deep Dark. I know a thing or two about Deep Dark. In the opening scene, we see a man abruptly awakening at midnight. A mysterious chain-like object has somehow been lodged in his belly button. After pulling the entire thing out, the man experiences heavy bleeding, prompting him to cry out loud in panic. Seconds later, he snaps back to reality, revealing that it was just a nightmare. His girlfriend, who is lying beside him, seems to be used to these episodes, so she simply ignores him. Let me guess, babe, you dreamt about the leprechaun again. Following this, we are introduced to a guy named Herman, who has a dream to become a great and successful artist. His ambition is to craft extraordinary artworks that would touch people in the deepest of ways, and make them see things differently. For this, he has tirelessly devoted his days and nights, but sadly, his masterpieces are always rejected. Having spent years of zero accomplishment, Herman's mother suggests he seek guidance from his uncle Felix, who is a successful artisan renowned for his exquisite earrings. However, However, Herman believes that his uncle is a hack, as he exploits his workers for meager wages while profiting substantially from his jewelry business. Later that night, Herman is surfing through the internet when he stumbles upon an online job vacancy. It is from the renowned artist Devorah Klein, who is looking for a bold new talent. Taking this as a golden opportunity, Herman visits Devorah's office the very following day. There, he meets with her assistant, who instructs him to present his creation to her before presenting it to Devorah herself. Herman Herman then unveils a globe, which portrays the current problems in the world. Unfortunately, his work meets rejection again. That's not art, kid. That's just a buzzkill. Despite enduring a series of setbacks, Herman doesn't give up on his artistic aspirations. However, this time, things take a different turn. The next morning, Herman wakes up and hears someone showering in his bathroom. His mother then shockingly reveals that she has rented his room to a man because they need money. This clearly implies that she doesn't support his dream dream. Or maybe it implies that dreams don't pay bills. With no other option, Herman reaches out to his uncle Felix, who is the same person from the opening scene. Upon listening to his struggles, Felix understands precisely what he needs. He says that Herman needs a private space where he can work freely without any disturbances. Felix then offers Herman the opportunity to stay in his old studio, a proposition that initially fills Herman with joy. However, his happiness is short-lived, as Felix charges a monthly rent of 800 dollars. What a steal. That's one third of a shoebox in Toronto. In the following scene, Herman, having somehow managed to complete his latest creation, attends Devora's art exhibition. In an attempt to make an impression, he presents his wall-hanging artwork, but soon loses his control, creating a complete mess in the exhibition hall. Despite this mishap, Herman requests another chance, asking for a two-week time frame to create something remarkable. He even pledges to quit everything if his art doesn't work out. Hearing this, Devora agrees as she wants to get rid of him as soon as possible. Herman then contacts Uncle Felix and rents his old studio for a two-week period. He promptly visits the studio, situated behind an apartment building's garbage area. Guided by Felix's manager, Layla, Herman enters a dusty, antiquated room containing a bed, a mini refrigerator, and a crooked painting. Nevertheless, Herman pays little attention to these details and moves in. He purchases two weeks' worth of food and stores it all in the mini-fridge. Without delay, he begins working on his mobile art that very night. Days go by, but Herman struggles to make any progress in his artwork. This causes his frustration and depression to gradually intensify. With patients like that, Herman would never make it on YouTube. On the 13th day of continuous failure, he contemplates giving up, and even self-kill thoughts cross his mind. But just then, the crooked painting catches his eye. He attempts to straighten it, but it stubbornly tilts back. Frustrated, he tosses the painting into a storage room. Shortly after, Herman witnesses an unusual phenomenon, a thread emerging from a small hole in the room. He pulls the thread, revealing a piece of paper with a message that reads, Relax, I can help. Puzzled, Herman checks the other side of the wall, only to find it completely sealed. After receiving several paper messages, the hole spits out a tiny jelly-like ball. Herman fixes it into his mobile structure, and to his astonishment, it gets balanced. Having finally completed his masterpiece, Herman pays a visit to Devorah residence the following day, but unfortunately she refuses to grant him entry, claiming that his creations are always trashy. This completely devastates Herman, and he walks away almost in tears. Along his path, he hands over his creation to a street side art vendor. The latter puts the artwork on display, and surprisingly, within a few minutes, several passersby are attracted to it. They even start an impromptu auction among themselves. Shortly after, Devora herself shows up and purchases the artwork with the highest bid. After this, she apologizes 
apologizes to Herman for her prior behavior and hires him as her new artist. Filled with great happiness, Herman returns to his temporary residence, bursting with shouts of joy. Moments later, a faint, whispering female voice emanates from the hole, asking him whether everything went well. Although initially scared, Herman eventually begins chatting with the enigmatic voice and shares his happiness. The voice reveals that she possesses a lot more jelly balls that can help him fulfill his long-awaited dream. In return, he simply has to spend time with her. Herman agrees without any hesitation. As the days go by, he establishes a good relation with the mysterious hole and spends most of his time inside the room. Who knew that a simple hole could make a man so happy? In the midst of all this, Herman is, time and again, approached by Laylee, who offers him pie. She seems to like him, but Herman keeps her at bay. One evening, Herman attends Devorah's exhibition, where his art is being presented in front of wealthy clients. They seem to be so fascinated that one of them purchases it for a massive sum of $50,000. With this success, Devorah assigns Herman to build a batch of these masterpieces within a month as she wants to host his solo exhibition. Meanwhile, at home, Layla knocks on Herman's door to offer him a meal. Receiving no response, she becomes curious and ventures into his room. As she explores the space, she stumbles upon the hole. Unable to resist her curiosity, she peers through it and discovers a projection of Herman coming out from the shower. Suddenly, the hole spits out an unfamiliar liquid into Layla's eye prompting her to hastily run away from there. Later on, Herman returns home, eager to share the good news with the hole. He becomes so consumed by his newfound success that he doesn't pay much attention to the origin of the hole or the voice behind it. Herman has now formed a deep emotional and psychological connection with the hole. It becomes evident that the hole yearns for his presence whenever he goes out and often fears abandonment. The voice expresses that she doesn't want to be alone again because it's unbearable. Upon learning of her insecurity, Herman reassures her that he has no intention of leaving. However, as more days pass, their relationship takes a dark turn. One day, the hole is unable to produce the jelly-like balls. Herman inquires about the matter, to which the voice reveals that she feels lonely. He asks if there's anything he can do to make her feel better. In response, she shockingly says that she wants to have intercourse. Say no more, says Herman. Herman firmly declines, but the hole reminds him of his impending deadline, also claiming that he cannot create his art without the jelly balls. Left with no choice, Herman reluctantly agrees and dips Dong in the art hole. Unbeknownst to Herman, he is secretly being watched by a guy named Joel, who is revealed to be Devorah's ex-best employee. He was terminated after Herman took his position. Because of this, an enraged Joel has been gunning for revenge. And now, he knows that Herman bones walls. Days later, Herman completes his next masterpiece and presents it to Devorah, who compensates him with a substantial paycheck. Despite the financial reward, Herman doesn't look happy due to the complex situation in his life. He is clearly seeking a normal relationship, and moreover, a normal life. Sensing his distress, Devora guides him to a room, expressing her attraction to him. She perceives them as an ideal match, with Herman being a talented artist and herself a successful seller. Their conversation soon takes a romantic turn, and they end up making out. Just wait until they have a three-way with the whole. Later in the evening, Herman returns to his room Room, only to find that the hole is already aware of his involvement with Devorah. She confronts him about it, and Herman does not hide anything. He admits to having something special with Devorah, and also asserts that he cannot have a relationship with the hole because she is not even human. Following a brief argument, Herman storms out, leaving the disheartened hole to add more marks to the room's walls. That same evening, the voice contacts Devorah, addressing herself as Herman's partner, and invites her to the old studio for a conversation. The latter agrees and arrives at the place to find a dimly lit setup with a chair surrounded by candles. Wasting no time, the voice gets straight to the point, acknowledging the fact that Devorah is using Herman solely for money. She then proposes a deal, offering exceptional artworks in exchange for Devorah staying away from Herman. As expected, the cunning woman turns down the offer and passes some hurtful remarks towards the voice. In response, the enraged hole sucks in all the oxygen from the room, causing Devorah to pass out. Shortly after, after Herman returns home, only to find Devorah lying on the floor. He somehow manages to bring her back to her senses and drives her home. However, Devorah remains upset, believing that the woman behind the walls is his girlfriend. Later, Herman is seen sitting on a street bench, reflecting on the situation. What am I gonna do about this hole? I can't get rid of it. It's a 
it's a hole. After a lot of deliberation, he decides to finally confess the truth to Devorah. Herman then goes to her place and reveals everything about the mysterious hole. He also admits that he doesn't have real talent and that the arts are actually made by the hole. Regardless of this, Herman confesses his genuine love for Devorah and expresses his desire to be with her forever. Surprisingly, she believes in him and accepts him as her lover. In the next scene, Herman returns to the studio room with the intent of sealing all the holes. As soon as he enters, he finds Joel, who is trying to use the hole to gain success for himself. Seeing this, Herman warns him to stay away from it because he has no idea about its consequences. However, Joel disregards the warning and reaches out to touch the hole. This proves to be a very bad decision as suddenly, the hole draws all of Joel's internal organs inside, resulting in his immediate demise. Sucked him dry. Sensing the danger that the hole possesses, Herman starts to seal off all the holes in the room one after another. Amidst this, the voice persistently attempts to persuade him that Devorah is not the right partner for him and that she's merely using him for financial gain. However, Herman remains resolute in his actions. As he is about to shut the final one, an unexpected blow from behind renders him unconscious. After some time, Herman regains consciousness, only to find Devorah using a chainsaw to cut through the wall. Puzzled, he questions her actions, and she explains that she intends to take the hole with her. She believes that by doing so, she can create her own masterpieces independently, without the need for anyone else, not even Herman. This makes him realize that the hole's warnings were true. Devorah was only using him all this time. Herman then gets up and tries to stop her from causing any further harm to the hole. Amidst the brawl, Devorah accidentally injures her own fingers with a chainsaw, prompting her to run away in pain. Meanwhile, the hole cries out in agony, which makes Herman feel very bad. He tries to comfort her, assuring her that he'll fix the damage. But sadly, the hole loses a lot of blood through the walls and passes away. Herman is overwhelmed with grief and guilt, blaming himself for the tragic outcome. In the final scene, Herman prepares to move out of the studio room. Before departing though, he cleans the blood from the walls and frames the hole properly as a final tribute. The moral of the story is there's more to life than holes. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.